All right, welcome to the show. My name is Bart, and I'm going to teach you in this video how to use the MetaHumans with the mannequin in Unreal Engine 4. Now, uh, this process is a little bit convoluted and um, requires you to do a few steps that I'm going to outline uh, in this video, step by step. It's going to take a while, so don't worry. Uh, I'm going to fast forward where I need to, and I'm going to pause and show you the things that are uh, really important in this. Now, the first step is to get your metahuman and your mannequin into the scene. Now, I'm not going to go over how to do that from the beginning, but basically you need to import the metahuman and then a sample animation from um, the mannequin pack that you can find on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. There are many animations that you can download that you can use right away in your projects. Now I'm going to use one of these kind of animations and I'm going to try to rig my animation um, so um, my metahuman is animated by what's happening in the mannequin. Now don't worry about this, I'm just basically showing how to enter the blueprint and dock it. Um, this uh, audio is recorded after the session because I didn't record uh, while I was recording um, just because I was learning um, how to do all this because it's not easy uh, so don't worry if you if you're lost in this or break something um, this is quality stuff so uh, you need to be patient and don't worry about it when something doesn't work now I'm looking here at this animation here, I mean this blueprint, and just trying to understand how it's built, right? There's a body, face, hair, eyebrows, fuzz, uh, torso, legs, and feet, and all that is, you can see that it's uh, in the components, components part of the, of the video, right? Now, um, The only important part here is to make sure that the skeletal mesh is set to F underscore SRT underscore NW, NNW underscore body. Uh, basically, you can recognize this mesh with two hands and kind of two legs. Uh, that's it. That's what shows in the preview. Now, this is the main skeleton that uses uh, that you can connect into different kind of software and animate it. In our case, we are going to um, prepare the skeleton so it can be used with a retargeting system in the Unreal Engine. You can see here, you can see two hands and there's two ankles. Now I'm going to go through um, this step by step, what you need to do. And from here, uh, we should select from the preview mesh, uh, the mesh that we're working on, right? So make sure you s you select the F underscore SRT underscore NNW underscore body uh, from the preview mesh. And now this is the tricky part. Well, it's not tricky, but you need to take care of modifying the pose. And to do this, we will need to go to the skeleton tree in a moment and we will, we will have to configure our mannequin to be exactly the same as our... Um, I mean, our metahuman should be as our mannequin. So I'm just making sure here that the base um, is connected and all the... Um, all the IKs are set up and here's the important part you need to get rid of the IK so I'm hitting X to just deselect all the inverse kinematics for some reason when this is um, enabled it 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 breaks the animation uh, so in order for this to work we will need to get rid of the IKs now we're doing this in our skeleton for the metahumans. And we're just going to save all. Get 
rid of this object that we don't need. So we have a nice fresh start. Now we're going to select our animation. This is just an animation uh, that I dragged in um, from a pack. And we have to do uh, a similar thing here also. This is the pack that I used. Um, it's the gener generic NPC anim pack. And also mocap basics is a second pack that you can look into um, it has plenty of animations that you can use on your characters now I just restarted Unreal because it's just good practice after making a few changes to characters I usually save up the file and and restart Unreal Now we don't want this mesh, we want the uh, FSRT NRW underscore body. Now you have to select here from the options to um, have all the translation retargeting um, here. Uh, so you're able to change it. Uh, this is crucial if you want to retarget your mesh from a mannequin to a metahuman. So from this checkbox, select animation. And instead of animation, we're going to go with skeleton. You have to right click on it. It's a bit tricky um, just to make sure I'm because I was also doing learning this from a tutorial, so I'm going to make sure. So you have to right click and then select and it will just make all of the bones into skeletons. Now remember, this is the metahuman and we're changing it to translation retargeting skeleton. So now we're going to jump into our mannequin and we're going to do exactly the same. Select the options so we're able to do the translation retargeting and now uh, right click and recursively set translation uh, to, yeah, that's it. Now we're pretty much done here. Um, we're nearly here. We can select our preview animation here so we can see that everything works fine in the mannequin, which is which is okay. This works perfectly. Uh, although our legs are floating a little bit because that's why we got rid of the IK. Now I'm not sure that this IK can let me know in the comments, can it be brought back um, once it's retargeted to uh, the metahuman? But we're not going to worry about it now too much because we want to just get this working, right? So we're going to close this, go to animations. Um, you can see here from the pack the generic generic NPC anim pack, which I'm um, going to use as a source for uh, my animations. You can right click on the asset, retarget to anim assets and select this option. Now you can see our metahuman skeleton is here. But 
for some reason, uh, it's not showing the target correctly because it's showing the pants. And basically what's gonna happen is um, my pants are just animated now, which is a step. But I think uh, I did something wrong in setting up the, the mesh in the retargeting. So I'm just gonna get rid of this, delete it. I encourage you to make these mistakes in Unreal Engine so you know uh, how this works. Um, so don't worry about it. If it just doesn't work, just delete it and try again. It's a learning process. So um, Unreal is a pretty uh, complex tool when it comes to um, understanding and learning all these concepts, uh, especially when it comes to retargeting, bones, uh, rigs. Uh, and all that. So we're going to just try again, right? And just I'm going to try to debug this. Why did I just get my pants in motion capture uh, translation instead of my proper character? So I'm just looking around. Um, let's have a look here. Um, I think it should be around the body. No nope. face. No. Nope. Um, nope. So yeah, normal weight body. This is it. This is what we're looking for. We want to translate this character, um, this this mesh, and it should work on the whole rig then. Let's have a look at the skeleton. And there we go. We can see here that in the skeleton, our preview mesh is selected to our pants. So let's try this then. Let's select the SRT NRW underscore body. Um, we'll select the preview animation. Yeah, this doesn't work. Um, so if you want to just preview animations here, it won't work. It will just glitch out. I also uh, learned that the hard way. So my basically what's going on here, my my brain is melting because I kind of don't understand why um, this is happening. And looking at the footage now, I still don't understand, but it's just the way the complex rig is set up, right? So it's my complete, utter, non understanding of the whole project. So how I understand these projects is I just click and look at them for hours. And I think I go into every folder, every file. Um, so I'm just familiar, fami I get familiarized with it, right? That's kind of the process. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that I change all the meshes, that I have the retargeting set, the skeleton. This is fine, all right? Mm, so let's um, get rid of this thing. Do we need this? Now let's try again. Right click on the um, no, not the physics. Uh, let's go to the animations and find the animation that we like. And go retarget, duplicate anim assets and retarget. So you can see here now that the metahuman uh, showed up. I'm going to save all our files just before I do this process. So I'm going to just select the exercise animation and no, this one and just hit retarget. Now, now it worked. I think I presume that it worked. So save everything now. All right.
right so if you want to get this animation going double click on your blueprint um, metahuman select the animation that was retargeted hit compile remember that this is done in the body component now once this is done if you hit um, simulate Congratulations, you just created your first animation from a meta. I mean, you imported a mannequin animation into a meta human and it works perfectly. Um, there are some issues I'm not sure with the skeleton because you can see that my skeleton in the mannequin is much bigger and has a different proportion than. Uh, my metahuman, but at the same time, it kind of works. Yeah, Unreal is pretty smart uh, when it comes to retargeting animations uh, once it's in Unreal. So if you have an animation in your skeletal mesh, you should be able to convert that animation to many, many uh, other assets, as long as the bone structure and everything is fine. The only downside of this technique right now that I see is that the foot uh, the feet are sliding a bit in both cases. Um, if you have any ideas how to fix that, I'd be happy to um, to listen. So let me know uh, in the comments and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.